Hi everyone, welcome back to Java class. In today's session, you will learn how to perform write operation to a file using buffered writer class. So let us create an object of buffered writer. So buffered writer class is present in java.io package. You can create the object of it. Writer is equal new buffered writer or inside it you will pass an object of file writer class file writer and you can pass the name of your file for example example dot txt file we are trying to create so here you can see it is showing error like unhandled exception type io exception so you have two suggestions to quick fix these errors you can add throws declaration or you can surround it with try or catch so i am just trying the second option that is surround with try and catch so here you can see inside try you have created an object of buffered writer and corresponding to this try we have a catch will will which will handle the input and output exceptions so after this you can call the function of a buffered writer class that is to perform some write operations or inside it you can write some text hello i am learning java right so this is used to perform some write operations now you can see if you will hover your mouse over writer so the compiler is just suggesting or it is showing some warning it is showing some warning like resource leak writer is never closed so whenever you will perform some inputs and output operations so you can close you have to close that object using a close function so writer dot close you can close this function now let us run this program and let's see what is the output or i can just display some statement if program successfully executed so i will write the writing operation writing operation completes right so let me just run this program and let's see what will be the output of it run this program and here it is showing the writing operation completes so let us just refresh this project and let's see the file is created or not so here you can see the file is created example.txt and it has a content hello i am learning java so this file is created in the default directory to the relative path along with your project location if you would like to change this file will be created in something different location so you can just pass for example src and forward slash you would like to create this file inside src folder so you will just save it you will run it again and you will just run your program and refresh your project and here we go you can see the file inside src folder is created example.txt and you will open it it is showing hello i am learning java programming language right so this is guys how to create some file using buffered writer class right so you have to understand what is the difference between the file writer that we have done in the previous session and difference between buffered writer and file writer class so here you can see the buffer writer class it is used it use the buffer to write text to a character output stream whenever you are trying to write some character or some text to a file it use the buffer first and the, this is the default size of a buffer but if you will you are trying buffer writer class it is a writer stream class that is used to direct write to a file without buffering this is the difference between file writer and the buffered writer class okay if you would like to perform multiple write operations you can perform using multiple write functions or whenever you will run this you will see what is the output of it you will just refresh your project and you will open example.txt file you can see everything is present in one line if you want to put this content into the next line you can call the next line function that writer dot next line or new line not next line it is new line so you can call the new line after every write right so let us run this program and let's see what is the output of it 
So here you will just refresh your project and you will see what is the output of example.txt. So you can see it is showing, hello, I am learning Java in three different lines. But you have observed, we have, you know, we have completed many write operations. So what it is doing, it is just overwriting the content over the file. Or if you would like to append the content, so inside this file writer object, you can pass the second argument is true. True flag you can pass. It means whenever you will have a multiple runs, right? Multiple execution or multiple write operations. So always it will just append the content in the existing file. So let us run this program and you will see what is the output of it. You will just refresh it. And here we go, you can see the content is appended. So guys, this is the way how to just use the buffered writer class in order to perform some write operations. If we just see the difference between these two classes, means file writer along can help us to write the data to the file. So the difference is only the buffers. If you will just check the performance of it, so using buffered writer over file writer directly provide a significant performance advantages when writing characters to a file, especially in case where many small write operations occur. So the buffering minimizes the number of input output operations, each of which could be costly due to the overhead of interacting with the disk again and again. So this is the difference between the file writers and the buffered writer class also. So guys, we have done for this session now. I hope you enjoyed this session and thank you for watching this videos. Bye-bye. Have a great day.